These are five of my favorite transitions. Transitions. Let's try that again. These are five of my favorite transitions for Instagram Reels and TikTok because they are simply just so easy to do. What's up, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. Starting with this video's shout outs, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of your amazing love and support. So if you want a shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. All right, jumping into the tutorial, shall we? So the first one we're gonna do, let me actually make this easy and get a sweater, yeah? Okay. We're gonna use this sweater for each transition. First transition we're gonna do is the tap. This one is super duper easy. So what you're going to do, you're gonna record your little thing and you're gonna tap the camera to cover up the entire camera and move your hand, head, hand, head, hand, hand. The biggest mistake I see people make with all transitions is they go so slow. So they're like, like you don't have to go slow. We're gonna edit it so you could just be like, whatever, you know what I mean? That was weird. So we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, something, something, tap. Okay, you see how it was just like, boop, one more time. Da da da, da 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 da, tap. Okay, and keeping the camera here, we're gonna stop. And when we reveal, I'm gonna have a sweater on. Surprise, surprise. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it all. Pretend it looks really good. Now we're gonna record our second half and we're just gonna do the same thing, but now our movement is gonna happen after we tap. So we're gonna be like, Ha ha ha, yeah. So tap, ooh, wow, transition. Cool, now let's edit it together. We are going to do a new project. We are going, look at my face, she's fun. Okay, we're gonna open up the first two. So I do da -da, da -da, da -da, tap. tap. So let's say I start it here. We're gonna sl split it to get rid of the beginning part. I talk, I tap, and I'm going to find, you can use two fingers to zoom in and get more specific. Find exactly where the hand covers the entirety of the camera. So right here, split and delete. So now we're gonna start this next clip at the hand covering. Boom, split and delete. So if we go like this, boop, ha ha ha. I'm so weird. So we start that, split, same thing. Start it where your hand is covered. Play, looks like this. Switch my clothes, pretty cool. Before going into the second transition, I wanna give you a friendly reminder to subscribe to my channel because it's free and I really do try my best to provide consistent content that is valuable to you, that you will always learn from and all the things. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hello beautiful people, editing Millie over here. And I wanted to take a quick second to thank this video sponsor, which is CapCut. And that's the editing app that I'm using to edit all of these transitions. Throughout the rest of the video, you're gonna see four more transitions that I do. And you're going to see how literally easy it is to make transitions. And of course I can do a more intermediate transition tutorial and then an advanced transition tutorial. But because I'm showing the simplicity of how easy it is to do transitions, I don't wanna diminish the other amazing features that CapCut has available on their app. I use CapCut every single day to edit all of my videos for Instagram Reels, stories, collaborations, TikTok, all the things. At the bottom, you can see a few of the tools that they have available to you. And when you select on a clip that you want to edit, they literally have so many options for you to do. Just a few of my favorites. On the far left, you see mute audio clip. That will mute the audio for all of the videos that you have uploaded into that timeline. You can also speed up and slow down clips with the speed option. You have overlays so you can layer photos on top of your videos or even videos on top of videos. You have effects, which you could do video effects similar to effects that you would see on TikTok or on Instagram. And since we're talking about transitions, they also have a bunch of really cool transitions that you could do in app. These transitions vary from every single transition style you would need. So basics like fading in, fading out, slide, swipes, cool spins and more advanced transitions. It, it literally gets so insane. So even though I am emphasizing the simplicity of how easy it can be to create transitions for Reels and for TikToks, I also want you to know the capabilities and everything else that you could do. Honestly, your options are endless in CapCut. If you wanna try out CapCut, I will link them down in my video description below. Be sure to give them a try and let's move on to the next transition. Next transition is going to be the swipe, very similar to the tap, but this time we're gonna like swipe our hand over the camera. So record, we're gonna do this. We start with our movement, the dominant one. Five tips for blah, 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 blah. Swipe. Okay, so our hand is going this way. And then we stop it. 
change outfits, change location. Maybe you put your makeup on or whatever. <laughs> These buttons, they're gonna get annoying. And then the dominant action now is gonna happen after you swipe. So we're gonna start with the swipe. We're gonna go, ding, finished it up, right? Da da da, da da da. Now let's edit it together. So I'm gonna move, yep, say it starts here, delete, put a bum, swipe. And the swipe, we're gonna try to cover as much of the camera as possible. Let's do there. Again, we can zoom in if we wanna get more specific. I'm gonna do it before it covers my face because the transition is happening after we swipe. So if I leave my face in this outfit after the swipe, it might not look as good. So I'm doing it right before my hand swipes over the camera. Delete. And now we're going to swipe. This one has a good frame where I'm like covering my face. So we're gonna actually start it with it covered. Delete and see what that looks like. Boop. Yeah, you see that? You see that? That's great. So the trick is like to keep the movement going. The next one is literally my favorite transition to do because it's so cool and it looks really hard, but it's really not, it's really easy. It's like the arm swipe one. So you're going to swipe your arms in front of the camera. Boop, boop, boop. Put your hands together like this so that your elbows kind of cover up the entire frame <laughs> when you move, boop, boop, boom. So you're gonna get close to the camera. Not that close, but close like that. Okay, so you're gonna swipe, and that's gonna be it. We're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go, okay? Boom. You're just moving, you move through the transition. Stop, sweater on, finish up the transition. <clears throat> you're gonna do the same exact movement, moving through the transition. You don't wanna stop. You're gonna go here, then we're gonna go. Okay, now let's edit it. Editing the arms transition, we go up. <laughs> I got so close to the camera, love it. So let's split it here. I go boom, 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 and we're gonna, mm, I didn't close my arms very well. Let me see the first clip. Okay, the first clip has a better, yeah, okay. Right there is covering, looks like a butt. <laughs> okay, um, and now I finish the transition with Boom, it's covered, split, looks like this. Now we're gonna go. Yeah, did you see that? Mm, 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 mm. Easy peasy. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to shoot reels inside of the Instagram app, I do have that video right here, so you can watch this video after finishing this one. Okay, for this next one, this one gets a little bit more complicated. You're going to be pulling your clothes off. Let me actually get a different sweater because we're not gonna be taking off our clothes here. I like to do this for when I'm wearing like a bigger shirt because it's easier for the transition. Boop, 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 boop. So now we have on our clothes or whatever and we're gonna yeet it off of us. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this, like, oh, look at my clothes, and you're gonna boop, go like that. That's the movement. So you're do 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 and, okay, that was it. Simple. But we're gonna stop, strip down, mess up your bun. Now for the second half, you will take the shirt that you just yanked on, place it on top of you. I like to like try to fit it on my arms too. And then we're going to pull it off. I will say with this specific transition, because you never cover up the camera, it's easiest to do in the Instagram app because you can use the align tool to make sure you're in the exact same spot. But some people don't like to edit in the Instagram app. So we're gonna see if this works. I don't think it's gonna work, but because I usually use the align tool, record. Align tool, you'd be able to see where was I standing? You line up your body completely and then you go like this, okay? Again, that one, a line tool. I'm gonna see what it looks like. I didn't try to stay in the same spot because I forgot. So let's just see what happens. Doom, 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 bing, split, delete. So I probably should have kept the same face where I was closed mouth smile, should have kept the same head tilt, all the things. Where you would trim this one, you see how my hands are going out and then they start to rebound back in. We don't want the rebound. We wanna take the rebound out and we're gonna start it like as as it's pulling off. We're not doing all the way out. We're doing as it pulls off. So we're gonna split it here. And then the motion, as soon as you start to see motion with the pulling the shirt off, we're gonna split it there. 
Ideally, that's where it would be. Oops, delete this one. So ideally, that's where the cuts will be. You'll cut it when you start to see motion of pulling it off, and then the next clip will start starting to see motion. So it's all coming off. Now pretend I'm standing in the same place. Boom. Yes. Dude, that was without the align tool. Eh, what's up? Okay. Okay, the next one is the one that I probably use the most. And those are like those head transitions. So that's when like you're talking and somebody goes like this and then it looks like the camera moved with their head and now they're talking to this camera over here. And they have multiple cameras set up. So that's what we do. I'm gonna go like this. And basically what I do is I'm gonna talk, blah, 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 blah. And when I finish what I say, I'm gonna turn my head swiftly or nice and sharp. It doesn't have to be like, Ugh, you know, you're not gonna give yourself whiplash, but quick enough to help the transition flow. That's really what each transition about is flowing through the movement with confidence instead of being like hesitant and being like, you know, so we do this and then we look. And now you stop there. You're gonna place the camera where you were just looking. See how I was looking over here? Now the camera's gonna be over here and my head is gonna go start the clip like this. So my head is gonna be here, like I was just talking here, and now it's gonna turn same way. Da 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 da. Boop. Or maybe da 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 da. And then I'll look up. And because I looked up this way, the camera's gonna get placed up here. And then we were here, so now we're gonna go da 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 da. Okay? I, I, I hope you get this, but we'll edit it together. Do you do one, two, three, four, head turns. Boop, boop, boop. Head turns are my favorite. They're so easy to do. Imagine I'm talking to the camera here, split. I'm going to split it as my head starts to turn. So my head's turning, split, delete. Now I'm going to split as my head is coming back into frame, split, delete, da 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 See that, ready? I finish what I say, I'm gonna da 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 Nice, let's do it again. So I'm talking, 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 and I'm going to look away. There's some movement. My head isn't fully turned yet, it's turning. Probably can make that one a little bit closer to the turn, but we'll see. And then I look up at the camera, come on. Motion, delete. Let's see where that one is. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. Yeah, so these are the three transitions. Three head turns. Head turn, da 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 da. Head turn, da 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 da. Yeah? <laughs> if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next episode. <laughs> like it's a freaking Netflix series. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye. <laughs>